Hey everyone, Liab is here. I want to show you my new F1G timer that I introduced uh, in a few, week, uh, few weeks ago uh, in the, my Facebook page. Uh, I'll just show it quick, uh, as, as quick as possible. Well, as you can see on the right, uh, standard LiPo battery connected. On the left, a switch uh, and a servo. And also I can connect an RDT here. So you connect an RDT here. Well, let's see. Um, the timer uh, went to sleep because I didn't use it for about a minute. So I'll wake it up using the switch. Okay, the timer is awake and blinking one time per second. This is the standby mode. Well, uh, at first we need to move the servo in three different positions. Uh, the first one is to uh, unlock all the arms. So when I press one time, so move to the open position. And second time, it move to the second position to lock part of the arms. And the last one is to lock the last arm, which, which is usually the prop arm. And now any other click won't do nothing except a blink, a short blink here. Well, now we are ready for flight. Okay, so long press here, we will wait, and now it's blinking very fast. If I wait here 20 seconds, it will cancel the flight, but if I leave it, it will start. I just made random moves so you can see it, and uh, after 10 seconds, it should be make a DT, and this is the DT. Well, this seems to be quite easy to use, and now you can see how it's easy to program, how much it's easy. Well, uh, I have here a Bluetooth dongle that I can connect to the timer. I wake it up, and I connect it. This uh, connector is uh, polarized, so you cannot connect it on the other direction, so you cannot confuse here. Okay, now you can see the LED is is the, is on in constant, not blinking anymore. It means that the timer knows that the uh, Bluetooth is connected. But you can see on the Bluetooth that there is a red LED that blinking. That means that it, it is working, but not connected to anything. Well, I have my app here. I'm using a Galaxy S2 in purpose because. Uh, it's an old uh, smartphone and I want to show you that it can work very good also here. So here I'm choosing my model and then I'm choosing my program and then I can see the program. Um, it's not that complicated as you can think. Um, well, the standby positions. These are the positions of the servo when I want to uh, unlock the arms and lock them in the two steps because this is why you can see here three steps well first I'll connect the uh, the smartphone to the Bluetooth so here on the menu connect to timer and now I need to choose the Bluetooth dongle and choose the timer F1G now you can see when the red LED is on and connected stops blinking that means that they are connected well, for example, if I want to change the first step, this is the unlock of the arms, I'll press the button here, the servo moves, okay, the slider here determines the, the angle of the servo in real time, okay, so I can change it and see. If I want to fine tune, I can use the arrows or long press like this. So after you change the angle to the angle that you want, you're done. You just need to choose the other one. When I press here, you can use this one. And the third one, like this. And after you made all the steps, you can repeat and see where the server is without sending the program because the, the timer doesn't save it yet. Here you just simulate the program. If I press 
S1 to move the server to this position. If I press S2, it will move it here, and press S3, it will move it here. So you can simulate the program without sending it, and you can see it in real time, so you can see uh, if it's the right angle before you send it. Um, well, here is the steps of the flight itself, which is usually the VAT and other movements of the rudder maybe. And here on the left you choose uh, the time in seconds. And uh, here you move the server the same like before. And also here you can choose this clock sign. It will change the view of the time to to the deltas of the time. For example, if this is 0 0.2 and 0 0.8, so the delta is 0 0.6. So if I press it here, you can see that everything changed and it's written here delta so you can understand. It's also a red color but it's difficult to see in the camera. So I can change it here for example. If I want to change I need to press 2 to unlock this step so I can edit it. And for example 0 0.9 and I can also press this again and it will move the changes here. So everything moves. So you, you can edit it in every way that you want. If you want the absolute time or the delta time, you can change it back and forth as, it, as you like. And in the end, you have the DT in seconds also, but this is only absolute time because you don't need delta time here. So if you change it here, it won't change the DT. It's only changing the flight itself. And after I choose, for example, all the steps and all the servo uh, positions that I want, or even if I want, I can add another step using this plus sign here, for example, and I put five seconds and move it here. Well, now, for example, I want to send this pro program to the timer. All I need to do is to press here on the send button here. And that's it. That's it. If I uh, come back and go to my program number two, which is an empty program, I can download it, the program from the timer to this one, and duplicate the program. That's it. You can see the program here. So easy. And uh, I forgot to save the 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 program before so I need to save it also now it's saved also if I come back to my program number two you can see there are only four steps and, and this is the first program I only four steps and on the second one there are five steps because I copied copied it from the time and saved but here I forgot to save so don't forget to save <laughs> and well that's it uh, I can now Disconnect here, the dongle, and I can start the program. First one is the unlocking, locking part of the arms, locking the rest of them, and nothing. Well, I want to explain one more thing just move it to the last step well for example if I'm here all the arms are locked and I want to unlock the arms uh, I can do it by pressing the button three times very fast like this now the server didn't move but now we are back to the beginning which means if I press it once it will go to the unlocking of the arms if I press it the second time, it will move the servo to locking part of them. And if I press it the third time, it will lock all of them. Well, also, if I disconnect the battery and reconnect it again, the timer remembers where it was before, if we were in standby mode. So if I press it again right now, it won't do anything because we were in locking position. So. I heard many people that told me that they don't want the server will accidentally move and then the prop will start 
to rotate and will break. So I try to plan it in a way that it will be much more difficult for you to make a mistake. And oh, uh, for example, I can show you again if I do three times. It wasn't fast enough. I do it again. Okay, now it came back to the beginning. If I press one time, then I have only two remaining steps. So I'll disconnect the battery and reconnect it. And you can see that one click moved it. And second one. And the third do nothing. Well, let's me let no now I can show you the RGT function here. This is my RGT that I made also in another post. This is also the GPS tracker, but the, the GPS is not connected here. I'll connect it now here. Okay, now it's connected. Well, the RGT is connected here to the button. So the button itself, if you click it during flight, it will DT. So I'll start here. Also the ground sta station and long press to start the flight. Okay. When I leave it, the time will start and then I quickly press here to make a DT. Okay. DT. That's it. If I do it again, wake up, then once again, second, third, long press, and I'll leave it. Pour running continuously until the DT after 10 seconds. Well, that's it for now. Uh, if you have any questions, any suggestions, maybe I forgot to mention something here and you can ask me on my Facebook page or here in the comments. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and hope you like this timer. Bye bye.